That's what we're looking for. We're looking for clock changers. People who just see it and say, hey, that's not, yeah, I don't care, change it. In fact, that's what leaders are. They're clock changers. We see something that's wrong, we fix it. We see garbage on the ground at the office, we pick it up. That's what we do. I call these people white buffaloes. They're very sacred. They only pop up every so often in an organization. And not only that, everybody knows who they are, so all the wolves come out and try to eat them <laughs> and fight them. In fact, that's what we're looking for in the C-suite. I'm looking for people who are problem solvers, not problem seekers. You know how many people bring me freaking problems every day? So we're looking for people. In fact, this is what I give to my team. I said, I'm looking for these four things out of you. I want problem solvers, not problem seekers. If you want to bring me problems, what do I need you for? I want problem seekers. If you're asking me how to do it, what do I need you for? I want people who can solve things. I want people who are change agents to the process, see that we need to change something, tweak it, move it, do it. Don't ask for permission, ask for forgiveness. Make it happen. I want people who are cheerleaders to reinforce the goals. These are leaders. I'm not talking about, you can argue with me, we can have a debate, but once we decide, I, you gotta get on board, baby. Put the pom-poms on and start dancing because that's what we got to deliver no matter what. And I want people who are seam operators, who operate amongst the seams. Don't say, that's not my job, that's my, my department. We need white buffaloes. We need people who are going to change things. And what we're looking for, and as I look at these changes that we've got to drive, I've seen that there's five things for reasons why companies fail. Number one, fear. Fear, we're afraid. We are afraid. You know what it's like to do something for the first time? Anybody ever go bungee jumping? Anyone? Huh? A few of you? I've never done that. I'm scared of heights. Absolutely. I get a nosebleed if I wear two pairs of socks. I'm a little queasy up here right now. But when you did that, the first couple of seconds was petrifying. But the second you stepped off, count one, count two, count three, you're wanting to do it again. You ask a woman across the bar, you see her for the first time. She's beautiful. You're scared shitless to go over across the bar to ask her to go out. But once you ask her out, hey. <laughs> well, that's what it's like to do things we're afraid to change. I wanted to be a cowboy all my life. Wanted to be a cowboy. I grew up in an Air Force base when my father moved from Air Force base to Air Force base. Never could be a cowboy until finally I was like 35. I said, by God, I live in South Dakota now. I'm going to be a cowboy. So I went out and I, I didn't know crap about horses or you know, or what to do, uh, you know, I had a pair of boots and a pair of jeans, that was it. So I went out and did what most people do, I got horses for dummies, the book, right? <laughs> I did, swear to God, got the, I got the movies, I got videos, I, I went out and, and talked to people who, who had horses, and I, and I asked people, right? And then I got a horse, and then I got the horse, and I decided, well, maybe I should, and oh, I bought the saddles first, I bought the saddles, and I I got a saddle for my wife, saddle for me, saddle for my son, saddle for my daughter, an extra saddle just in case, and what the hell. So I decided to get the horse, I got the saddles, I got the thing, I even got a trailer, I went out and bought the horse, I got my first horse, and I decided I should put him out of stables, because I didn't, you know, if I took him to my ranch, I let him loose, I might not be able to catch him, I wouldn't know what to do. So, no, this is a true story, so I thought this thing through, and I said, so I got to, so I take him to the stables, and I, so I board him for like six months, and so, so I went to the stables, and I got the horse out of the trailer, and I tied him up to the fence because I'm going to ride him. I'm going to put the saddle on him for the first time. Now, I don't know if you know anything about horses, but, or to put a saddle on. There's a lot of crap on these saddles, and I didn't know. And you can watch the videos and stuff, but it's like being a consultant. It's not the same thing as doing it, you know? And that was funny, too. And he, <laughs> through that was an extra one. So, and then um, uh, uh, wherever the extra stuff is, I'll point it out so you know where the value add is, right? <sighs> I'm already sweating like a pig up here anyway. So... So anyway, uh, where the hell was that? Oh yeah, so I, I had a saddle, I got them, and, 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 he, and they got bridles in, these, in the reins, and, and they got to put it over their ears, and I don't know how to do it, and there's all these stress. I mean, I, I clearly don't have, I, I don't know how. And I'm trying to put it on the horse, and he's getting agitated, moving around and stuff, pissing him off, and so, so finally, I, I'm scared. I don't know what to do, and I look over, and they're, over there, like up against where that wall is over there, I look at this, there's like a 14-year-old girl. So I get my courage up, and I walk over there, and I say to this small, petite, young girl, can you help me saddle my horse, <laughs> right? Well, now I can do everything with a horse. If you watched my Facebook fan page last week, I was shooing them. 
No, actually shoeing my horses. I know how to do all this stuff. You see, if you're going to be a maestro, you've got to learn to play a lot of bad notes. And a lot of companies are afraid to do that. A lot of leaders are afraid to do that. We're afraid to stay in a meeting, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're doing, and we shouldn't be afraid. What's going to happen to you? What's the worst thing that could happen to you? Nothing. 